All right, this is the first boil. What I'm going to do is transfer the meat onto a large bowl, take out the liquid, and then put new water in there, and then again bring it to um, to a boil. And then that's the that's the liquid I'm gonna use for both of the dishes. All right, here is um, my meat. It's almost done. You can tell it's almost done because it's um, you can really see the bone now. So what I did was I added. Um, three shallots thinly sliced and then I just added one of these um, nor beef cubes bouillon just to flavor it because especially with the nilaga it doesn't have a lot of seasoning for nilaga it's just basically the seasoning of the meat the broth and then also um, salt and pepper and then the veggies and then that's it so I really want to flavor um, the meat really well and the broth yeah, so I'm just going to cook that for another maybe 20 minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and separate it. I went ahead and separated my meat. So this is going to be for my nilaga and then this is going to be for my kare kare. And then let me show you guys the, um, the ingredients. So the reason I said that I can make um, two dishes, two Filipino dishes out of the large uh, family pack of meat is because these two Filipino dishes which is the kare kare and then the nilaga basically has the same vegetable ingredients the only difference is the eggplant over here and then the potatoes on this side okay so kare kare is uh, again a Filipino dish that has the peanut sauce mix so this is the sauce mix that I'm going to add along with it right, sorry I had to go get the peanut butter okay so so what I'm gonna do is with the mix I don't like to put the mix directly in there because it is a powder form if you don't mix it thoroughly throughout the cooking then um, you get like little clumps so I don't like that I'll just get some of the hot liquid put it into a small container pour this mix in there and this mix is very simple ingredients it says right here peanuts rice flour cane sugar salt and annatto powder annatto powder is just a like a food coloring that we use because kare kare will have this like um deep like orange color that's all it is it's just adding um color to it so then i'll put in a quarter cup of the creamy always use creamy don't use the um, the crunchy peanut butter and then so i'll have that to the side i'll mix this together really well and then i'll add it in here before i add on the the veggies because these veggies really cook up very fast and then this is um, my eggplant green onions and then the bok choy for this and then for the nilaga um, also with the green beans i'll add some to this the nilaga only has the green beans potato the bok choy and then i'll add this um green onion last it just adds a bit of a nice um, color to it towards the end all right, with the nilaga dish, I went ahead and added the green beans, still pre-washed it, and then also the, um, the potato, and then I just diced it in small chunks so that it um, cooks faster. Stir that in. Um, let both of them get softened because the only thing that I need to add to this will be the bok choy. This cooks within like two, three minutes. All right, and here is the kare kare powder. Put it into the, um, the broth before putting it back into the pot you really gotta mix it um, thoroughly well and then add your quarter of a cup peanut butter see how it's very hard to mix this is why this is the reason also that I didn't want to add it into the pot like this harder to mix oh let me just take it out of the heat here it is mixed in with my um, with my sauce mix and peanut butter and it looks more like a, like a curry now. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my eggplant and then I just put it into little small chunks. Add that in there. They'll take um, a few minutes to cook. Sorry. House is full of kids always. <laughs> this is why it's hard for me to make um, videos for you guys because my life is crazy kids chaotic so that mix that well oh, forgot that put it back in the heat and then let that simmer here is the nilaga just waiting for the the green beans and the potato to soften up um, let's go check mm, it could use another couple minutes it's getting there and once that's done once that's very tender I'm just gonna pre-wash this and um, prepare it to, to go in there. It's hard to cook two meals and then film, so I forgot 
about the um, the green beans but it's okay because I'm going to boil it in a separate pot because I do like my veggies nice and tender so no worries about that and then once that's um, tender I'll just add it on to this and then now pre-washed um, baby bok choy or um, I think yeah this is baby bok choy I like the smaller ones compared to the the big ones because the big ones tends to have more of these white part than the leaves and I really like the um, the leaves so I don't like to cover uh, if you guys notice when I'm cooking because when you cover especially with um, greens then it turns into like a darker color compared to um, a bright green color so I tend not to cover and then this is it so what I'm going to do is just wait um, until maybe like three five minutes uh, for this one and then I'm just gonna chop up the green onions and then sprinkle it um, sprinkle it on top just as like a garnish all right friends that's it that's done so let me grab my green onion and then I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top I've already turned off the stove but because I do have um, electric stove it's going to keep on cooking for a little bit longer so that's perfect okay and then my beans over here is cooking until tender and then like I said I'm gonna add it on to here all right green beans is almost tender tender <laughs> so I'm gonna add that in there and that's gonna be perfect with the um, cooking of the eggplant there we go another maybe three to five minutes and then I'll add my bok choy both the eggplant and the green beans is nice and tender now I'm gonna add on my pre-washed baby bok choy again just about three minutes and it's done I'm actually gonna turn a, turn off the heat in about two minutes or so because it's still gonna be cooking and that's it friends very simple very 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 simple I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick and simple two dish recipe um, Filipino kare kare, Filipino nelaga, same meat, same veggies pretty much and you guys can make two meal um, out of it so, alright and here it is the kare kare, the nilaga hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of two simple uh, Filipino dishes kare kare and the nilaga as always thank you guys for watching A Simply Simple Life Mahalo